Yep, that's another rip case. Now sure, I can fix this and make it look like brand new again. But how about instead, we make our own 3D printed protective cases to fit any size card and stack height, and maybe we can add a little something special to each to give them some personality. So stick around. I've ripped too many of these and I know I could blame the packaging. It really does seem like the quality isn't what it used to be. But all this ripping has given me an idea. How about we create a design not just for one size of card, but for any size. Let's go ahead and pick a card. I've taken a photo of it and then removed the background. I find that when I'm automating designs, it becomes a little bit easier to make mistakes, at least on the initial setup. But having a stack to compare against at a glance will prevent anything embarrassing from happening. In Fusion 360, I'll import the image using Canvas and I'll scale it to get it close. If you don't have a radius finder, this also helps to get that corner radius measurement. I'm going to start by creating some parameters or variables and give them some names to help remember them. And this part may seem really boring, and that's because it is. Now there are other ways of setting these up within the sketch, but it isn't quite as organized, so this is the way I prefer to do it. Having all of the right options at our disposal will make this so much easier later on to make adjustments. And there are some cases where we can also take parameters and have them reference one another for even better automation. The most important parameters here are card length, width, thickness, the corner radius, and also the stack size. And when it comes to stack size, using the exact number is not going to work well here. The cards never come perfectly flat to each other, so we're going to have to add a little bit extra. Now that's all done, but we can always go ahead and add more later on in case we need anything else. Best case is to have a setting here for every single dimension. So I'm sure you're not here to see me draw some lines. If that's what you're into, I'm sure there's a different YouTube channel for that. But the most important thing here is to make sure that each of these dimensions references back to one of those parameters we set up earlier. This way we have full control of the design. So here I've created that very important space for the cards to slide in and out. It references card gap, and I found that a gap of between one and one and a half millimeters around the perimeter, or overall two to three millimeters works really well. The same applies for any extrusion. The bottom here, I'm referencing bottom thickness, and I think you get the point. Now I'm no clasp expert. If there's a type of clasp that you think will work really well here, please write a comment and let me know what you think I should use. And here's what the completed design looks like. So let's go ahead and test it out. I have a few different types of cards, some Uno, some matching and some skip bow, but whatever it is, it should still work just fine. Okay, so how about adding that something special to make these stand out? I'm using a free sketch software here called Sketchpad. I'll create a sketch with a transparent background. And here it's important to have really crisp contrasting lines. So I'd stay away from using these type of paint tools. I'll then save the file as a JPEG and I'll use this free converter to make it a DXF file. We can then bring it into Fusion 360 and scale it to whatever size we need. 
So it's time to get these printed and I'm using my Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon printer with the automatic material system to allow me to get some color into it. Now if you don't have the option for printing in color, you can also just emboss these. And there we have it, a protective case for each. Guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and found it helpful. Don't forget to like the video and leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already. And a special thank you to my patrons for helping to support the channel. Take care, everybody, and we'll see you on the next one.